Carolina follow up. We are checking in with a rescue farm that helped in the seizure of nearly 38 horses in Woodruff. 56 year old Paul Kaika is charged with 10 counts of ill treatment of animals. We brought this to you as breaking news about a week ago. Fox Carolina's Anna Arinder shares how some of those horses are doing today. These two horses now have a second chance at life, but rescuers say their road to recovery is a long one. They're kind of working on the, um, the trust. This mama and her baby are safely recovering at Creekside Farm and Equine Rescue. The first day they were completely feral. You couldn't touch them. On June 10th, the Spartanburg County Environmental Enforcement Department seized 38 horses from this home in Woodruff. The horses were split between several animal rescue agencies. These two came home with Candace Abercrombie. She is one of the best looking horses that came from the 38 horse seizure. Um, some of our fosters have horses that are just skin and bones. We've just kind of been monitoring. Um, trust is a big thing we have to work on in the beginning. We just take it at their pace. We don't push them. If you push them, you break the trust and then you're starting from scratch again. For this mama and her baby, their physical condition is hard to miss. Her hip bones stick out a little bit. Um, her backbone where it comes into her tail is very prominent. That's not really something you should see. Open wounds and overgrown hoofs are also being treated, but for their emotional state, Candace says that just takes time. Well, Candace says their rehab process is day by day, but they will stay here as long as they need to to heal. In Fountain Inn, Anna Arinder, Fox Carolina News. If you'd like to donate to Creekside Farm and Equine Rescue, you can visit our website at foxcarolina.com.